Hi again, YouTubers. So, I have been doing a lot of tag videos lately, and people seem to really like them and enjoy them and have fun learning some information or whatever have you. So I had asked, I forget where, um, basically if there were any other tag videos you guys knew of that you would like to see me do. So that being said, I did um, hear about one called the Perfect Palette Tag. So I Googled it and I pulled up the questions on Temptalia. Um, Temptalia's uh, website that basically is like amazing. Uh, Christine is the person who runs that and it is basically like reviews and like every th every swatch of every product you could ever think of. She has an amazing foundation matrix, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, totally off topic there. Let's get into the tag video. The perfect palette tag um, is 10 different questions. A uh, question of where you, like what you think of certain like types or like, okay, it's best this, best that. Um, and then you pick one. So best packaging. My favorite packaging is the Kat Von D what are these called? Um, True Romance Eyeshadow Palettes. This is the one in the color, The Saint. It is a somewhat plastic metal type tin package. It has a button here. You push the button, the palette opens up. It has a good size mirror. It has an eyeliner and quite a few shadows. Um, this is just awesome, except for the, you can hear the pencil, which drives me a little crazy. But the packaging is just I don't know, something about it just speaks to me. It's so well done, it's so flush, it lays flat on your vanity while you're getting ready. It's just by far my favorite palette, like how it is made, like the packaging, it just, I love it, love it, love it. I wish there were other ones that I liked, but there, this seems to be the only one that really works for me. Um, best color payoff. I have had this one for quite some time. It is the, since they first came out actually, the Lancome Color Design, uh, what were these called? In Bronze Amore, it's illuminating, what are these called? Five, five ombres, different. Here we go, five shadow and liner palette. There we go, Bronze Amore is the color that I have. Comes with five different colors. There is a, and it has a little like cheat sheet that goes over it, so you've got and all over base is this color here, a lid color, a crease color, a highlighter color, and an eyeliner color. And the color payoff on this is just amazing. It just, every single one of these colors is just as pigmented and comes out exactly as you see it here. And they are just gorgeous. They are beautiful, beautiful colors. And I tend to forget about that, so I'm glad it was fun doing this tag because as I read the questions, I sat in front of my vanity and kind of pulled different things out. And I really found things that I hadn't seen in a while or hadn't thought of for a while. So I was excited about that. Most versatile palette is definitely this, the Lorac Pro. Now I will say I hate the packaging because it's like, gets fingerprints and everything all over it and it's just kind of gross. But most versatile by far. This has a full set of matte shadows and a full set of shimmer shadows. You can use everything from light colors to golden tones to pink tones to plum tones to gray tones. You could easily do any look with this that you could possibly need. It is just by far the most versatile palette that I have ever owned, short of one that I put together myself um, from MAC or somewhere like that. Um, best for traveling, I'm honestly going to say this one still because a, it is so thin, it fits in anywhere and you don't even notice it's there. And B, because every color you could possibly need is in this palette. Um, it's just so easy to take this with you and be able to make any type of look you want. Um, if you could only take one palette, obviously. I tend to take a lot with me. <laughs> um, biggest regret. This is a palette and I think this might have been limited edition. It's not really a palette. I will say this too. I decided to include in this trios and quads and any type of shadow that had more than two colors in it was my way of thinking on this. Um, just because it gave me more options to kind of talk to you guys about and tell you guys about and I thought that was kind of smart. Um, so biggest regret is this palette and I do think that this was limited edition but I'm not even sure. It was by NARS and it's called Ramatuli. And I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. There is a peach color, a regular cream highlighter color, and then a bluish kind of grayish color. 
I don't know. It's weird. I don't even, oh, I don't know how to tell. <laughs> I guess I'll just wipe that off on my hand. Um, I don't know why I thought this would be a good palette for me. I'm sure I saw someone using it and I thought, oh, I need that. I, this is my biggest regret by far. I don't know why I haven't even just sold it, sold it or given it to somebody. I don't like it at all. Um, and I never, ever, ever grab for it. Um, best color names. I personally think that this one is fun and it is the Lorac Unzipped Palette. Um, and it's mostly like kind of pinky golden tone colors. Um, no, mostly pinky browns. Let me rephrase that. And you can see the pinks in through here. There's one gold color over here, kind of goldish color. But I love it because it's the unzipped palette and it has colors like undiscovered, unreal, uncensored, unspoken, untamed. And I just think that's fun that they went through with the whole un type of concept. So that one was a really fun for color names. Least used. This one's gonna be kind of a shock. This one is my least used. Oh, and I'm, by the way, I'm sorry about the clothes hanging out over here kind of packing and trying to put outfits together and looks together and so I have pants up on top and I got stuff everywhere um okay so back to this least used you guys are gonna be shocked by this the Too Faced chocolate bar palette I just haven't fallen in love with it I just haven't found any I don't know it's beautiful colors you've got pinks you've got purples you've got kind of like greeny olive tones it smells amazing there's beautiful neutrals in there I don't know. I can't, I don't grab for it. I think the packaging is way too huge. Um, I don't know. I just don't ever, ever, ever grab for it. Even when I see tutorials, I'm like, well, yeah, I have that palette. But I don't grab for it. Sorry, my iPad keeps leaping down and that's where the questions are. Um, most used, this is kind of strange. This is probably my most used, what is this, trio, um, which I'm considering a palette. And it was a giveaway one. It was from Clinique and it was a Color Surge eyeshadow trio. Colors are Chocolate Chip, Buttered Bronze, and Teddy Bear. And I don't know, something about this. I am just able to make a great combination of eyes with this little palette. It just is a great little neutral palette and it doesn't hardly look like I've used it, but all of these colors have dents in them. And it just, it's the easiest, easiest palette to like just do any type of eye with, which is kind of odd. Um, most loved palette is my Chanel Spices number 79 and this is my most loved because it has a beautiful highlighter color a beautiful beautiful bronze kind of like nice blending color and like blend out color a nice actually surprisingly nice pink but it's a very 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 light pink but it's just gorgeous and then a very pretty reddish brown Again, another palette that I can take with me and do a multitude of different looks with. I just really, really love this. And the pigmentation is great. Um, I have two other Chanel palettes that are, what are these, quads? And they're fine, but this is one that I continually go back to and I will purchase another one when it runs out. Last question, number 10, Desert Island. So if you are on a desert island, you could only take one palette with you. I unfortunately or fortunately depending on which way you look at this have to go back to the Lorac Pro so this has actually won three different and it could won more um, areas because again you can just do so many things with this if you could only take one thing um, which Desert Island you could only have one palette this would be it this is definitely my favorite one um, for that but it's funny because I don't grab for it on a daily basis but it's great when I do just want to have everything in one thing um, funny thing is is for these, let's go down this real quick. Best packaging, this does not win for that at all. Best color path, definitely has a great color path. It's versatile, um, best for traveling. I don't regret it. Uh, color names? Okay, these color names are really boring. White, cream, taupe, light pink, mauve. <laughs> okay, it does not win for best color names. Least used, no. Most used, I do use it a lot. I do love it. Um, and I would take it on a dozen island. So this one really touches base on a lot of those uh, different questions. So this one, if you don't own any palettes or you want one palette, this one is definitely the way to go. Other than the fact that it looks dirty and has weird, boring names. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's any other tags out there you guys know about. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.